Today we're going to talk about how to be credible. As journalists, credibility is the most important thing to have. Unlike professions like doctors and lawyers, a journalist isn't required to have a license that proves they are a credible source. They have to earn it. To earn credibility means to earn the trust of your readers and belief in your stories and opinions. Credibility is earned over time through many different ways. Credible journalists take detailed notes on their research to show the process on where they got the information in their stories. They also try to use as many primary sources in their stories and research to give as many direct accounts of the events or information. They will frequently have their notes and stories fact-checked to ensure they are delivering correct information and not fabricating stories. They also use credibility cues to ensure that the information they are reporting comes from other credible sources. They give attribution to all the sources in their writing to be transparent to the readers and where the information came from. When doing research, you won't always be able to use only primary sources. When searching for those secondary sources, not everything you search on the internet is going to be 100% credible. Google only gives about 0.03% of all the information that exists online, so not everything you find is going to be a credible source. As journalists, we can use credibility cues to assess whether or not the information on, of a source is truthful enough to use in our writing. When using credibility cues, it is important to assess the reputation of the source, the date of publication, the author's reputation and prior experience, and double and triple check information using multiple credible sources. If you find that a source isn't or doesn't seem credible, don't use it in your writing. As journalists, keeping your credibility throughout your whole career is the most important thing because credibility is earned over and over, but once it's lost, you can't get it back. Everything you report also reflects directly back to the company you are working for. A well-known example of this is the Brian Williams scandal. He exaggerated his story and changed it multiple times. This caused him to be suspended from NBC and lose the trust of everyone. Another example of this is seen by the lack of research done by Sabrina Erdely of the Rolling Stone magazine, who wrote a story on a gang rape at a college party that had been fabricated by her source without doing further research into the credibility of the story and the source she was using. She was eventually fired from Rolling Stone and was required to give an apology. These are examples of what can happen when journalists lose their credibility and the trust of their audience. Earning and maintaining credibility takes hard work but is necessary to build a successful career. Remember to always fact check, use credibility cues, and look beyond the basic sources to build your credibility and career as a journalist.